This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Fiscal policy will tear us apart again. Semi-hot off the presses at Zero Hedge by Tyler Durden. The Federal Reserve to hold an expedited, comma, closed meeting on Monday. Given how awesome everything appears to be, judging by stocks in the tidal wave of Fed speak of the last week, confirming that rates are rising in December, we found it at least marginally odd that out of the blue, the Fed would announce an expedited closed meeting on Monday. And uh, let me throw my two cents in and say, yeah, I think that's weird too, man. Also, I have made a call on interest rates the last few years. And uh, strangely enough, I've been one of the only human beings on the planet to get interest rates right for like the last four or five years, which I think is weird because I'm not an economist. I'm just a YouTuber. And I now think it's so weird. I'm not even gonna remind people what my call is. <laughs> you can just go back and check out my economic videos. But as of right now, the Fed is holding an emergency meeting to discuss what I do not know, but everybody is guessing interest rates because it is the only hot topic I would be aware of that would be needed to be discussed right now. Although I could just surprise everybody and say, hey, guess what, America? For Christmas, we're giving you quantitative easing forever. And if that happens, if you dabble in stocks, I would highly recommend buying some because that would be probably the only place to make money. The stock market. Okay, great. And it, the stock market has pretty much held tight at its cap firm around 18,000. So what else? Meeting date, Monday, November 23rd, 2015. It is anticipated that the closed meeting of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System at 1130 a.m. on Monday, November 23rd, 2015, will be held under expedited procedures as set forth in Section 26, Pound 7 of the Board's rules regarding observation of meetings at the Board's offices at 20th Street and C Streets. Northwest Washington, D.C. The following items, official board business, are tentatively scheduled to be considered at that meeting. Number one, and apparently the only one, review and determination by the Board of Governors of the advance and discount rates to be charged by the Federal Reserve Banks. Now, if you have not been paying attention, and not many people have, interest rates were lowered to 0% in 2008. And what does 0% interest rates mean? Well, it means the same thing like if you go to a furniture store and you buy a couch and a dresser and they give you 0% interest rates for three years. That means you better pay off that debt in those three years, or when you raise the rates, you'll owe a shit ton of compounded debt that will crush you. Uh, hope that clears it up. So we've been at zero for seven years and counting. So, yeah. So everybody's saying like, hey, yeah, Fed is now gonna raise rates. And people are saying that if they raise rates, it'll have disastrous consequences. And I, at this point, I'm gonna withhold my own personal opinion of exactly what is and what is not the deal when it comes to interest rates. Because, um, fiscal policy, Fiscal policy will tear us apart again. No way. Let's see if any of these fine chaps at Zero Hedge have anything fascinating to say on the subject. Some people say they go to Zero Hedge not for the articles, but for the comments. And you know what? I disagree with that. I love to read the Phoenix Capital articles. I always find them totally hilarious. Oh, uh, unfortunately, at this moment, they don't have any up. That is too bad. <laughs> but if you've been following Phoenix Capital's advice during any period, you are totally broke. <laughs> That's what's so great. They get it wrong every time. Let's just try and pick a funny comment that doesn't really talk about anything important. Oh, dang. Hey, thanks. Tyler, we're trying to help me. All right, let us go to Tom. Tall Tom. Greenhead. A whopping $600 trillion in derivatives are directly tied to the 10-year note. How much real money will be transferred due to a 0.25% basis point hike? It is not notational. It is quite real, and it will be an expenditure or gain, depending on your position. So, $1.5 trillion of money will be moved from one side of the ledger to the other on a singular 0.25% basis point hike. And that would mean on a single, on a regular single point hike, that would be about $5 trillion worth of money that would change hands to a winner and a loser. And to put this in perspective, I do believe somewhere in the mid-80s, interest rates were 15%. Whereas, let me put it this way, if you had $1,000 in the bank, at the end of the year, the bank would have to pay you $150 just to keep your cash in their bank, right? Well, now, with 0% interest rates, the bank basically has to pay you $0 to keep your cash in the bank. And on top of that, they probably charge you a monthly fee, plus ATM fees, plus other crappy fees, just to get your own money. It's funny how times change in some ways, and in some ways they don't. What do you think US GDP is? 16 trillion or so. What percentage of US GDP does that 1.25 trillion in costs represent? About 8, 8%. Oh, okay. Well, I don't like numbers. So none, of this makes, none of this makes any sense. Except for, yeah, it's very interesting that um the Fed is having a non-emergency, emergency expedited meeting on Monday. I think three weeks ahead of their next scheduled meeting. I have to double check the dates on that one. But uh, yeah, so interesting financial and fiscal times indeed. 
Just thought I would report on this. <laughs> All right. Uh, God bless everybody. This will be interesting. I guarantee you, asterisk, I shouldn't guarantee anything. I'm just a fucking YouTuber, man. But I'm pretty dang sure the markets are going to move crazily in one way or another on Monday. Just, I mean, the Fed farts and shit happens. Wait, that's a weird analogy. Okay. God bless everybody. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Fiscal policy will tear us apart again. Semi-hot off the presses at Zero Hedge by Tyler Durden. The Federal Reserve to hold an expedited comma closed meeting on Monday. Given how awesome everything appears to be, judging by stocks in the tidal wave of Fed speak of the last week confirming that rates are rising in December, we found it at least marginally odd that out of the blue, the Fed would announce an expedited closed meeting on Monday. And uh, let me throw my two cents in and say,